Now, I've been using this EVGA SC15 for over a year now. I've been doing a lot of major editing tasks. And only this morning, I thought to myself, whoa, this boy's getting a bit hot. Because I've been using it that much, I thought to myself, well, so I'll go ahead and buy a cooling pad. I mean, I know there's been a lot of skepticism with certain types of cooling pads. And a lot of reviewers have actually said that, you know, the temperature has only been lowered just a fraction. But I thought today I'd do something different and just gamble on one. So I searched around the internet and I ended up going ahead, taking a gamble and buying this TechNet laptop cooling stand. Do you want to know if it's any good? Well, we'll put it to the test and see if it actually works. Stay tuned. <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel so i bought this technet cooling pad for around about 16 pounds at 20 in us dollars outside the box everything is pretty much basic and minimalistic the front it does have a depiction of the laptop fan itself but there's nothing really around the outside edge or the back inside the box though let's have a good look shall we look at the state of this opening and it does say what? Frustration free, certified. Yeah, I'm getting frustrated, all right. So you do have some protective padding. Uh, well, you see some, one piece there. Let's hope it works, shall we? Oh, it just comes in bubble wrap protection. Let's just move it to the side and we get a welcome setup guide. And what's this? We got a uh, oh, two year warranty card. Thank you. What's that say? Five star membership. Ooh. So five star membership benefits include six months warranty extension. So registration adds an extra six months to your standard 18 months warranty. Nice. 180 days free return shipping. That's all right. Priority customer support. Okay. Oh, free new samples. I might have a look at that. Nice one. So yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> we have a USB too. USB cable. So this is to connect to your laptop and this end is to connect to the laptop fan. Let's leave that to the right hand side and get rid of the box. So let's bring the laptop pan. Pan. Bruh. I've been cooking just a moment ago. It's a fan. So let's bring the laptop fan into the picture. And right away, you know what? This is kind of light. And indeed it is. It weighs 1.2 kilograms. So this laptop cooling pad has five fans. It consists of four fans that run at 1500 RPM and the one central fan that runs at 1000 RPM. Made out of, mm, I'd say, quite durable plastic. And the top base is made out of metal mesh. To the left hand side, we have two USB 2.0s. Oh, and that's good to see. I didn't know it had a, uh, is it lighting control or is it fan speed? But we'll get to that real soon. This is what I mean. Where's those instructions again? Nah, get rid. So first of all, there is actually a lot of grip. That's not going anywhere on the surface because of these four rubber feet. Underneath, you do offer some extension bars to the back, which when pulled out, will give you that two levels of adjustment. So your laptop can sit on a tilt, giving the cooling fan more ventilation, or just simply leave it back flat. So yeah, tilt and lift. And you'll have no problem with your laptop with that tilt too, as it does have that anti-slip design. Let's just go ahead and place my EVGA SC15 on top. And this laptop is a 15.5 inch. And yeah, it doesn't actually overhang that much. It does have a slight bit of slippage. I mean, this is the grip on the bottom of the laptop. You've got two good rubber feet at the bottom and a massive wedge at the back. I've also got this protective pad on this particular laptop, so I'm just wondering, why is it slipping slightly? Oh, that's why. Nice, it's got a little uh, edge to sit on. Oh, that's much better. So let's open the laptop up. Yeah, and that actually looks real good. So this cooling pad, it can actually fit 12 inch to 17 inch laptops. One of the most important things when buying your cooling fan for your laptop is to make sure you get one where at least two fans line up with the vents on the bottom. 
So this one just here, I personally picked for my EVGA SC15. Both fan vents sit to the left and right sides. Now I know some laptops have two fans in the middle, and I guess it all depends on how your layout is on your laptop. So without placing the laptop back onto the laptop cooling fan, I'm gonna place it aside, and we're gonna see how this cooling fan looks. Let's plug it in. So we're gonna use one of the USB slots on the laptop. And let's cross our fingers, and let's hope it's not been damaged while we're in transit. Here we go. So I'm going to keep everything real quiet. I'm going to do some, what's it called? ASMR. Hello, welcome to my channel. ASMR. ASMR. Hello, hello. <laughs> anyway, so let's go closer with the camera. I'm going to take the camera out of the slot just for now and give you guys an insight of the actual sound of the fans. So this is the uh, actual volume of the fans just now. Hey, it looks kind of cool with those uh, blue LED lights. You can get this TechNet cooling fan with red LEDs too. Should have really have gone for that one. But let's see if you can actually turn the speed up. Okay, so it just turn off. Now, I've got to say straight away, it doesn't actually feel that powerful. I mean, if you have a look at the fans on my laptop, I mean, this is a serious gaming laptop. I mean, look how small and diddy these are. When this is in super mode, these fans run like a Formula One car. This, right at the moment, I must admit, it's running like a Morris Minor. That couldn't even cool my face, I don't think. Already I'm thinking that I may have basically bought a lost cause already. So first of all, let me put this camera back in its stand and we're gonna render a video without the fan, see what the temperature is, and then render a video using the laptop with it on this cooling pad and compare the results. So let's go. First of all, on this particular laptop, we've got Precision X Mobile. And as you can see, we've got the CPU clock, the system temperature, and the GPU temperature. So at this present moment, the CPU temperature is at 36 Celsius, system temperature is at 32 Celsius, and the GPU temperature is at 33 Celsius. Initially, let's just actually see if it makes a difference putting it on just now. So we're gonna leave it to go steady just for a few seconds to see what initial difference it makes. So up to now, over about 30 to 40 seconds. Temperature has not dropped, not one bit really. The CPU temperature is fluctuating just a slight bit of a Celsius. And it was doing that just before we hooked up the laptop pad anyway. Hmm. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a video and we're gonna try doing a bit of a rendering. Today, I'm going to be using Hyperlink Power Director. That's the editor I'm using just now. And I must admit guys, it's absolutely fantastic. If you want to do um, multi-layers on your videos, this is the one for you guys. You can sign up for a year. It makes sense to do that because you get every single Power Director, every single music package, every single thing within the Cyber Power Director suite. It makes sense to do that as it's about £35 or £30 for PowerDirector 17 and you only get limited functions, limited layers and stuff like that. If you sign up to um, Cyber Director for the year, you get absolutely everything including updates as well. Just a little tip for you guys if you want to do video editing. So I've got this three and a half minute file. I'm going to do it in 4K. What we're going to do is we're going to watch the temperatures and we're going to now start the rendering. And there you go. Now the videos are rendered. The CPU temperature is 53 Celsius. The system temperature is 50 Celsius and the GPU temperature is 50 Celsius. What we're going to do is we're going to let it cool down just for the moment. Hook up the cooling pad and then see what the temperatures are after the same video has been rendered once again. So now what we're going to do is render the same video. First of all, we're going to attach the laptop cooling pad. 
So now the laptop cooling pad is in place and turned on at full speed. We're going to render the same 4 minute video in 4K and see what the temperature gets to when the rendering is complete. So right now the CPU temperature is at 56 Celsius, the system temperature is at 45 Celsius and the GPU temperature is at 44 Celsius. We're going to leave the rendering to complete and then compare the comparison. Right, now the rendering is complete, I'll just tell you guys that the CPU temperature is fluctuating between 56 and 60 Celsius, the system temperature is 54 Celsius and the GPU is 45 Celsius. So in comparison, the CPU temperature before was running at 53 Celsius, the system temperature at 50 Celsius and the GPU at 50 Celsius. So it seems to be that the only thing that this laptop pad actually does cool down is the GPU temperature. We do find an increase on the system temperature of 2 Celsius and an increase on the CPU temperature of around about 2 to 3 Celsius. So in whole, does this laptop cooling pad actually work? Well, unfortunately, no, it hasn't had a tremendous amount of impact upon the cooling of this EVGA laptop. The fan levels seem to be quite low, although it's quite quiet. But the only thing I would say is that when rendering a video, the rendering completed almost half the time it did without the laptop pad in place. Although it didn't work on the rendering temperature, I must say it does actually keep it an average temperature when doing a bit of web surfing or playing a few YouTube videos. That's all basically. It still does get a bit warm, the laptop. But I think all this laptop cooling pad does is keep the laptop at a steady temperature doing basic activities. Now, although it doesn't work in the way of cooling when doing some big tasks like rendering video, it is good, however, at basically just using it as a mat to put your laptop on so it doesn't burn your knees. Even if you guys have actually used this particular cooling pad in the past, please leave some comments in the comment section down below. Did it work for you? What temperature did it decrease by? And what's the overall improvement? Please go ahead, comment down below, and make sure you give some details, and I'll try and get back to your comment. So what would I actually give out of my usual rating out of 10 for this laptop cooling pad today? Well, it looks good, it's built quite good, it's kind of sturdy, but it's not an argument and it's supposed to do a job. So out of my usual rating out of 10 today, I've actually got to give this laptop cooling pad by TechNet a rating of 3 out of 10, just basically on the actual design. If you want a decent laptop cooling pad, then I can actually recommend a few, which I'll list in the video description right down below. While you're there, guys, please go ahead and share this video wherever possible. Subscribe. Make sure you smash the like button. While you're there, guys, it's important to make sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. I'll see you guys all for my new video coming real soon. Stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.